Welcome to my quick two minute video on how to uh, take apart and hopefully sort out a floor mounted dip switch. This one came from a 1950s Morris Minor. Um, do not, whatever you do, disturb that rivet that's in the top of the cap. This rivet is holding the cap down over the spring that gives you this, the uh, return pressure and basically operates the thing. So leave that well alone. What we're looking at is that this rivet here and the one that's 180 degrees opposite it, like they're uh, brass rivets countersunk on the uh, top there. And we're going to just drill off these two little towels very carefully, keeping the washers so we can reuse them again later. All right, when we get it apart, it comes apart very easily and there's just three contacts inside. So we drill off one and then the other. You see the washer there, reasonably intact. We separate the switch, and when we put it back together, we'll put a little bit of silicone sealant around the uh, edge there, just to help keep the moisture out. So there's the central input connector with the little S-shaped clip part that actuates the uh, the square block or rectangular block that's inside. You see the block there; it's all looking very tarnished. I can only assume that's why I was wasn't getting um, both pull and uh, dip beam operating correctly. So we carefully clean up the contacts, fine emery paper, contact file, something similar. A um, little bit of grease on the ends of the bar that comes that uh, it pivots on. All work f works freely. I used uh, countersunk uh, bolts with little nuts. You could use rivets if you wanted to. But basically, a little bit of maintenance there. You save around 30 quid on buying a replacement switch. Thank you.